Well, we're only halfway through, <laughs> so we're very early. Um, we were all really pleased to hear the Alaka Sestrant story this morning. Uh, it's, it's a real, I think it is a real advance. It's, it does seem better than Fazladex, which is difficult to understand almost. Um, I think that study, my own feeling is it might need repeating. Some of the patients who start, uh, were, were, uh, the, the, it was the drug versus a kind of several endocrine agents which, you know, the, the clinicians could choose, including Fazladex. Um, so I, I'm slightly worried about design. Um, so, again, I think, you know, a confirmatory study is needed. Um, and so I guess that is the, the main um, exciting thing that I've, that I've seen. The other is, is to do more with um, neoadjuvant chemotherapy that Carlos Caldas talked about yesterday, where he looked at genetic and transcriptomic readouts from repeat biopsies in neoadjuvant treated patients. And there's a suggestion that there's an immune um, role in chemotherapy treatment, um, which is really interesting and um, obviously, you know, needs to be followed up. So I'm, I'm excited to see what else is happening later on. Great.